This is probably one of the best times to do transportation research. If you open up a newspaper, switch on the radio, look at the television, there's always a topic about transport on the news. The transport world is completely changing as we speak. There's so many things that we don't know about and we really need to get to those answers. One of the biggest strengths of ITS is it's one of the top institutions in transportation research and education. It's such a big department with so many researchers working across all sorts of different fields within transport. Social policy, economics, engineering, you name it. It's got fab multidisciplinary members of staff. Now students, I would say, are even more diverse because they come from many different disciplines. So we've got a huge pool of expertise to draw on. One thing for a PhD which is important is it's student-led. You get real ownership of your work and you get the time to think about it and develop your models and improve them. We will guide you but we will never tell you do this. You need to come up with the solutions. I'm developing the mathematical model to represent evolution of mode share between taxi sharing or minibus and non-share mode, like just normal taxi. So we're looking at whether there's additional benefits for intercity schemes. So is it better to invest in, say, rail schemes between London and Leeds, or is it better to concentrate on improving links between cities in the north? The idea is to try and maximise the benefits of society. You can run experiments in the simulators, you can run experiments in computers. We need to measure, we need to know what is happening, we need to have the data. There is another part of the story that is the people. <laughs> and the stories of the people. And we can sometimes mix both types. You can have modeling as well as discussion. The good thing is that we have expertise in almost all of these disciplines. ITS operates within a number of research groups and all of our PhD students are aligned to one or maybe more of those. It was a very good opportunity to meet lots of people from different cultures. Also, it was quite easy for me to kind of make a community in ITS. The support you get as a PGR centres around your supervision team. You will have at least two supervisors, sometimes three. We do bring in external supervisors, sometimes on the back of industrial collaborations. Just to bring in different perspective to the problem you're trying to solve. They're always helpful and if I need something, they're always there. You get a lot of feedback. It actually drives your work forward. Talk to any academic, one of the big things is real-world impact. We have a number of partners that work with us. Car manufacturers like Jaguar Land Rover. Department for Transport. Organisations like Highways England. And that gives students the opportunity to work directly with industrial stakeholders. And that really helps our students, not only in terms of designing and reaching out to policy, but designing research that's going to be used. Doing my PhD here, give me this confidence to think that I can do something to change the world. I think it's a fantastic opportunity. It's where a lot of the industry experts are, where a lot of the world-leading research is taking place. So it's the ideal place to do a PhD in transport. Mm -hmm.